Hello, Warrior Women. I'm jumping in here today to talk to you about Psalms 2. And um, I'm going to read it out of the TPT version today because it just fits excellently the way it is worded with the clown world that we are in right now. So, um, how, and I'm just going to dive right in. How dare the nations plan a rebellion? They're Foolish plots are futile. Look at how the power brokers of the world rise up to hold their summit, as the rulers scheme and confer together against Yahweh and his anointed king, saying, Let's come together and break away from the Creator. Once and for all, let's cast off these controlling chains of God and his Christ. Um, and then verse 4 says, God enthroned merely laughs at them. The Sovereign One mocks their madness. Then with the fierceness of his fiery anger, he settles the issue. So, I mean, that speaks exactly to what is actually going on right now. We have, you know, all types of uh, forums, so to speak, um, that have set themselves up against the people, unelected people who have, you know, created committees and forums to control us, to take away our freedoms, to depopulate, to, uh, you know, control all the resources, create the crisis, and then give us the solution that further takes away more resources. Um, and I can go on, and hopefully you guys all know what I'm, understand what I'm talking about. And if not, you know, perhaps we should dig into... Uh, and see what's going on right now in our world, become informed. Um, but it's not for us. It's completely against the people, and it's in league with Satan. Um, and they're trying to um, bake, break off the bands of, of the Lord and the Savior because they don't want anything. They do not want to be restricted in setting up their own kingdoms, um, which is exactly what they're trying to do. They want to rule. They want to set up their own kingdom. And it only has to do with them. It does not have to do with the people. It is keeping the resources for themselves um, and building their own kingdoms. And um, what it says here, they, they can't obviously do that, though. The Father has, and I'll summarize some of the rest of this, what Psalms 2 says, the Father has set up the Son as King and has given Him the nations to rule. And He has the power, He's been given a rod of, a rod of iron and the power to break them like pottery if they do not come under subjection to His um, governance. Uh, our Lord and Savior has the power to break them, or, you know, us as well, if we do not want to be governed um, by him. So, but he gives, he gives all of us room to, to come to him. It says here, be wise, therefore, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice, kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you die. <laughs> so, I mean, the language is very clear. We have a choice, serve him, or we do not have the option of eternal life. But these people who are, they, they only care about this life, this world, controlling this world. Um, but there is hope for us. The final verse here says, blessed are all of they that put their trust in him. So when we trust in him, we do not have to fear what is going on around us because we believe in his word. We believe that he is our strong tower. He is our deliverer. He is the, um, our restorer. He is our healer. He is our savior. He is our conqueror. All of those things he is for us. It says this in his word and we just are to trust in him. This is where our peace comes from, um, at his feet. So I hope you find, found that helpful today. And tomorrow um, will be Psalms 3 and possibly Psalms 4. They kind of go hand in hand. So I will see you guys again next time. And you guys have a blessed day.